Hi everyone, this is Mr. Vargas, and we're going to be doing our conclusion to our Big Six lesson. So to review the purpose of this lesson, the purpose of this lesson was to introduce you to the Big Six research model in order to help you, the students, understand how to properly conduct research. Now, we do have a handout that we will be um, um, completing after the uh, presentation continues. So this is what the handout looks like. You're going to be writing our, your name, your teacher's name, today's date, and the period. You're going to be listing the six different processes and the big six um, research method and orders. You're going to read these. And you're going to list them one through. They're out of order now. You're going to list them what number. So for example, synthesis, if it's, for example, number one, then I would put one here. If this was number four, then I would put a four here. So this, you're going to get this information afterwards. Next, after in each method or each number of the research method, we have definitions to each number. And here you are completing the um, sentences. And it, right on presentation, if you click it, there is a link to the presentation that we are going over. Below here are five different resources to provide information on the Big Six research model. We have two different informational handouts. We have a YouTube video, and we also have two informational websites. So we have a handout from right here. You just click on these links, and they will take you on the resources, to the resources, I'm sorry. And it's very simple. You just click on it and then you click over the resource and it'll redirect you to the handout. And here you'll have more information on the big six. So this is a handout that you will be completing after this presentation. Now, let's go over what the big six method is. Well, step one, it's called task definition. So what exactly are we researching? Well, there are two things. We need to define the informational problem. What is the problem that you're trying to find a solution to? And secondly, we need to identify what for information is needed. I find I have what my topic is. What information do I need to in order to answer that question or solve that problem? Step number two is information seeking strategies. So now we need to determine all the possible sources of information. I can get information from a video, from a website, from a library book, from the databases. Where can I start thinking of all the possible sources of information? And secondly, after we think of all those, we need to select what is going to be my best source of information in regards to this particular research assignment. Step three is location and access. So now that I have the type of sources, I have what I'm going to be researching. I know what sources I need for this. Um, I know what information I need for this research. Now that I know the information, I know what resources to use. Well, now we need to locate all the sources that we're gonna be getting this information from, and we need to find the information within the sources. Step four, use of information. So I have my topic. I know what information I need in order to address this topic. I have the sources in order to get that information. Now that I have the sources, I need to, I'm going to be getting the information. And now we're going to be engaging in research. We're going to be reading, we're going to be hearing, we're going to be viewing, and we're going to be touching meaning physically going perhaps through a book or clicking on website links. And once we go through that, we're going to extract, meaning we're going to collect information that is relevant, meaning information that is specific to this, not information that does not apply, but information that is applicable to that research topic. Synthesis, step five. I have my research topic. I have what information I need. I have the sources that will get me that information. I've already looked into those sources and gathered that information. Well, now with synthesis, we need to organize all this information from the multiple sources that we use. And once I've organized all this information, I need to present it, whether it's going to be in a PowerPoint presentation, in a essay, 
We are going to be presenting the information that was organized and collected. And lastly, evaluation. We will judge our product based on how effective the information was. So we're going to look at a research assignment, whether it's a PowerPoint or a paper, and we're going to see if it was really effective, if you were able to gather all the information you needed to solve that problem. And then you're going to judge the entire process. How efficient was it? How easy how manageable was all that information so again we have task definition information seeking strategies location and access use of information synthesis and evaluation to conclude the big six research method is used to solve an informational problem now it's your turn to conduct research using the big six research method you may now go to your handout. Enjoy.